Hi guys, I hope that you're doing fantastic. So I'm just jumping over here to do a reading for you all. I just finished the Cardinal Fix Immutable Sun readings. They can be found down below. They will run from the 17th, 18th, and 19th. They were pretty, uh, pretty, pretty amazing readings, really. Um, <laughs> the, they, anyway, I did them a little bit different than when I'm normally when I get on to do them, I, I looked at each day. So, but anyway, if you want to check those out, those are down below. If you're returning, welcome back. Those of you who are brand new, welcome. I'm not religious or spiritual, but I'm, uh, I am spiritual. I'm not religious and churchy. Um, I'm very spiritual. I love the great Elohim of the universe. And uh, some people call the great Elohim just universe well he's running the universe he's a great spirit of them all and uh i call him uh Yehovah because that's his name um so anyway he's very tangible on my channel and i love him very much he is my salvation my yeshua i do use living language uh, of the hebraic language it's part of my heritage it's actually found within the tarot so if you didn't know that you know it now I love the scripture and just for uprightness, okay? I use anything that's for uprightness and um, all that. But I'm not religious or anything at all. I don't have a problem with giving a what for, and I feel energy that way as well. It's real talk on my channel, and so uh, I don't get a lot of foo foo stuff, but sometimes I do. I get a lot of legal stuff uh, most of the time, but it is what it is. But anyway, that's kind of who I am. Welcome if you stay. Happy birthday, happy anniversary to anybody who's celebrating. Let's see what's going on here for this reading for you all. What do you want to bring out, Yolanda? I just appreciate you for helping me get through this energy flow for the last couple of days. So, Yolanda's going to heal this thing. And it got really bad, but it's not too hard. Now, this literally just came out in one of those readings that I just did. Uh, some, some of y'all need to be careful because there's a trap around somebody. There's a commander or a commandment of something that has uh, happened within a situation where a false report was made that also just came out in that reading, one of those readings. And so there's a commander, a law, an ordinance here, and some type of false report that was made. So if you always going to heal this thing, it's got really bad, then that's probably uh, past energy for some of you all that you've had you've went through something that's just really went south from somebody deliberately making a freaking report to the law and uh, caused nothing but a freaking ruckus within something and Jehovah said he's going to heal something here so that's positive so we have a tapestry here and the tapestry I love it because the tapestry represents you know it takes both the ugly gut side and the other side that's beautiful to make that tapestry if somebody's been just obviously somebody's made some type of false report here than they did they were just showing one side of something maybe a literal cloth or tapestry or something like that that is involved in something uh, who knows at this point so let's just go ahead and take some um, cards and see what's going on with this what's what's known about this please okay well there's a law right here coming out uh, something to do with a, 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 a commander or a commandment that somebody gave within this false report. Uh, by God, I hope it wasn't the law that did it. But anyway, you just never know. Um, some people are mixed up in there, unfortunately, and they need to be weeded out. But there's some, there is law here, and this is what's known. So it is known here with the law. Okay, let's take uh, what's hidden in the now with this. What's hidden in the now. Uh, the Queen of Cups is here. So the Queen of Cups, you know, if this person is the person who made the false report, this is a manipulator at its finest because it's a queen. It is somebody who is emotionally intelligent. This could be a mother, a, an aunt, a grandparent, a boss, a sister. Uh, it's just, it could be a nurse, okay? If it's in the upright and this report was made about somebody who's loving and caring and kind and they, they somebody obviously manipulated something and this energy is, is around, this is a person that's in the hidden space of something. Uh, or something's it's, or there's investigation going on around this person because the, the law is in the what's known the truth is here the truth is known 
this is clarity with the justice. And if Jehovah's coming out and saying, look, I'm going to heal this thing because it got really bad because somebody made a freaking false report on purpose and got the law involved. And there's, there's some type of a commander and an ordinance here within something. Somebody knows the truth about the tapestry only being shown on one side. Uh, we have the King of Cups, and he was actually in, um, I think he, sh he was either in the Cardinal or the Fixed Sign reading. This is a match. So this is uh, marital issues or contractual things, and obviously somebody was biased within some type of situation. This can go back to bias energy, um, abomination of something. If the skills are, are off, then you know because the scripture tells us that if we're if we're not even and we're not truthful, it's an abomination. There are two people here, uh, whether they be married or not. There's something very much emotional here, and there was some type of an intelligence around it, or this is FBI law or somebody's held back some type of something around a love situation uh, with this couple or with this mother father situation or whatever this is polaric balance if you can look at it that way uh, whatever this is okay well show me outcome because Jehovah's already saying he's going to fix it yeah, there's going to be a victory. There's going to be a departure of some some sort. Uh, this is hasty type energy. Quick movement uh, energy here. This is the chariot. This is the law coming up here with the chariot card. This is somebody who had to pull their mind down to move forward uh, quickly to bring some type of a departure to a situation. This is moving on um, really big here. So we have... So the word Zach, the Z and the K in the Hebrew is here. And that, that represents, uh, I want to say that word, I think it might be with the sun card. But the phonics is still here um, of Zach, and that could be a name, involved in something. But that goes back to being shackled. Let me make sure. Well, one direction um, is is refine and pure and it's bringing out the, the 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 word crystal now i did a reading earlier today and the crystal came out uh, i i want to say that i deleted that reading unless it is in one of the uh cardinal fixed immutable signs but that that energy did come out today at maybe your name was crystal as well crystal or zach or you know somebody with a, more than one uh uh, K because it'd be K's or K is a name or Kathy or uh, Kate could be found here. But anyway, that's kind of interesting. But we've got something being refined and and being made clean and and you have a healing something if it's bringing back you know, washing something here and refining and making something pure is here. So that's positive. We do have a victory within something here. There, there's some type of um, something that obviously has to be cleaned. And if it is an actual tapestry, somebody's, you know, a fine cloth of something did get, you know, mess with in a situation, a legal situation, I guess I could pull that in here. Uh, some type of dirty mess came out of a situation out of that, then that's going to be cleaned or something, I guess. You just never know who you're talking to, so I just put that out here. But there's some type of a being clear with something something's very clear as crystal or being refined here with the word uh zach with the cuff uh energy here yeah it must be the um the z with the sun card which would be the cuff but it would still be the phonics of zach and that word represents to be shackled okay so somebody is going to go job I and mean, we really have it out here so it's still the phonics is still being brought out here with the law but something is going to be fixed and there's a victory here within this okay this is a departure we have three people here this is obviously somebody got played because they made a false report on purpose Okay. We also can find here with the the uh, chariot card, it represents the mother. Okay, because they go back to the fourth house where Cancer is. They hold this in the deck. We have Cancer and uh, Sagittarius uh, with this card with the chariot. And the house of Sagittarius in the ninth house goes back to the husband and protection. Okay. We also have. Uh, um, let's see, Cancer and Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Cancer Scorpio Pisces here in a Libra energy here. So what further energies do we need to know about? So what's in the hidden though is this mother-father 
polaric balance, these two people, these manipulators, these loving, caring people is going to heal something for some of you all that's uh, law is all over every part of this, but somebody's a freaking player in and out. There's some type of sexual thing here for some of you all for th that will be known because the law is showing up here. So I'm just go ahead and say that there's, um, there's money here. This would go back to fortune as well. And you know, if there's a crystal and you're talking about literal crystal, and something's taking place. You know, here lately we've had something that's been scratched that's come out. And so if you're dealing with somebody who's been in and out of a situation, somebody's feeling insecure, was thrown out. Um, then somebody scratched something that, of value. And then there's some type of situation here where it got really bad and dirty within some type of situation. Um, we've got surround the crown compasses here as well. We have travel. You know, in the outcome, there's a victory to be able to travel forward and to depart something. Um, something with the head is here. Okay, well, we have we have the, a king and a queen that have crowns up on their head as well. Your last name could be crown or something happened with a, a literal crown or something like that. So there was a touch or a strike that brought some type of a uh, plague from Elohim. That also came out in those readings that I just did. What further energy do we need to uh, understand about this, please, you hold up? What further information can you give us about this? So the gentleman is here. This is a significant person. It could be a young man or a younger person. This is a, this uh, knight has an age between 25, 35 years old. Okay, and then if this if this is mother, father, and children, then apparently I guess it is. Or there's a husband and wife and a third party for some of you all, or something got really filthy. Somebody's done something. It's brought some type of a of a of a strike from Elohim. Okay, maybe somebody got struck in the head. Maybe somebody was wrapped up in a, a piece of cloth or something like that, but there's some type of a um, plague that's been here. So this, this gentleman he is here. This could be a professional. Um, it could just be somebody masculine around you. Okay, well, fire is very masculine as well. We have the child here, and the child is a number 13, which can go to death issues as well, or this is somebody you went to high school with, or this is somebody just real childish in their behavior. They're immature. Okay, this could be uh, something that could represent stumbling. So if there is an actual crystal that broke and somebody stumbled and it got, you know, broken or scratched or something like that, and it's caused some type of a a mess legally then we could take that for that and we'll just you know allow the spirit to speak expressively but this can also just go back to um just uh playing type of stuff and maybe if a child was around something like that i'm not sure long-term stuff is here so we've got the ship and the anchor that's interesting because both those go back to a watery stuff this is a journey with the ship this could be somebody who's foreign uh, for some people this also could be something that could have happened around a holiday as well um, but with the ship this is moving energy with the ship separation of ki of a kind uh, we've got long term energy with the anchor this is goals and uh, burdens and security and stability here so somebody is going to go to jail for something then uh, apparently for some of you all that's what how this would be read we have the J and the A and the K that's a jack and we have a jazz here. If there's something to do with music, then then, then um, J Z is jazz. With the A is here. Uh, if you could have more than one A connection, A's are here. Um, but we do have Zach coming out here twice as well. There could be more than one Zach connection or something like that within something. Okay. Um, so we have the tree here, and this could be a family tree. This could be a um, life card as well. So if some, something did take place with somebody's head or somebody struck some somebody and it's caught. You know, somebody was struck from the back 
uh, and there was there was government and council and lawyers and FBI all over one of those readings, okay? And uh, so something's taking place. This is a redemption energy and it's in some type of a division. It's, the word is PD and we do have the PD here. The police department is here. But there's some type of a redemption because Jehovah's, you know, going to fix something here that's taking place. Somebody can see something way beyond this uh, realm. This is big time perception within something here. This is uh, uh, something that's piercing right through the darkness, okay? This is the word is to see or to perceive something here, okay? Will that take you back to the ninth house as well? Um, but So we've got family issues for some of you all with this tree or the health or body type situation. This could be a sacrificing card as well. So take this energy as you must. Let's take one last message here. Where am I at on top? 15, yeah. What's the last message here that you want to bring out about the other side of the tapestry and then the law and this false report that was made? I'm not going to go jail for that. That's dangerous kind of stuff to do that. So th this, this take you back to death like it is the 13th letter of the rune. It's the CH, the Q, and the X. And some of y'all dealing with your ex, and I guess you are um, within something. This is a secret. It's also can go to magical things or a mystery is here. Well, if we're talking about the eighth house, it's, it holds the 13th higher canon, which you take back to death energies, like I said. But somebody had some type of a secret. Somebody was in some type of um, occultic stuff. We got sacrificing in here. We talk about all the time, not you um, we've got some, but he's got clairvoyance. Well, we have perception there that just came out as well. This is high volume intuition. This is also independence. And somebody's probably going to depart within some type of war that's been going on because Jehovah's going to fix it because the false report is known about with clarity. And then somebody's going to be able to get up and have some type of independence because there's a victory here. So this goes back to silence. And so for some of you all, that it was a death in some, somebody's head was struck or something with somebody's head is here. Okay? Or the crown of somebody's head. Um, you know, I want to say somebody had... I know maybe it wasn't in those readings. I did a reading today, and I didn't upload some of them. And there was an exam there. So somebody was examining something um, that I guess... Some, some type of an examination this because this is a nurse then maybe somebody's found out something here within this stuff so there's a lot of money here you know the ch the q and the x all that can make checks and somebody got some checks coming to them then i guess they do they had money stuff because we got fortune here as well okay that's big time fortune with the fish but look we got the ship the anchor and the fish something very watery here and so what if somebody really is from overseas or has traveled or maybe you own a, a yacht or I'm not sure. But the fish here is money and finances and a lot of wealth. It's like indulgence as well. Excess. If you are dealing with somebody who's got, you know, excessive problem within some type of situation then you know that that's here then that also means independence as well and so it came out in the runes twice to let every word be established in two or three witnesses that really was telling itself over and over in a lot of stuff so this will come out guys for this reading go check out those other readings down below until next time shalom